Right now, NC State University police are investigating several crimes that happened in the area recently. A woman who does not go to the college says she was walking on Hillsborough Street early Thursday morning when she says a man forced her into a nearby parking lot. That's when she says the man sexually assaulted her. Earlier that same week on Sunday, campus police shared these surveillance pictures after a female student reported that a man entered her room and grabbed her before running off. Today, CBS North Carolina's Kelly Kennedy headed to campus to talk with some of the students about these reported incidents. Now, Kelly, what do they have to say? Virchelle, the students I talked to say as much as they hate that this happens on their campus, it doesn't come as a surprise. They say they've come up with their own ways to stay safe. To the Department of Justice, one in five women are sexually assaulted while in college. And when you are told when you first come to university or anywhere, like don't walk alone at night and people kind of brush it off and think they're invincible and then these things happen. Some students say they've taken matters into their own hands. I wouldn't feel safe walking around unarmed. Marie Gibbons says she carries a weapon just in case she ever needs to defend herself. Whenever I walk home at night, um, I'll carry an awl with me so I can use it to like stab somebody if I need to. Um, luckily, I've never had to use it before. Other students say they make sure to travel in packs. I think just walking with somebody is always a, like a good idea. Yeah, and if I don't have someone like with me, I know there is also the escort service, um, but usually it's like a two, three minute walk if I'm trying to go somewhere. Um, and I usually try to either tail a group of people or ask them, like, hey, can I walk with you guys? Just little things like that. And most people are like, yeah, sure, like, just join us. And then you make new friends, too. On this campus, there are many of, like, the blue lights. So if you stick to those, you can always see another blue light. And just be aware, be aware of your surroundings and just keep your eyes open. Gibbons, a graduate student, recommends self-defense classes. Take some Krav Maga classes. Know how to you know, get out of a chokehold. So unfortunately, it's kind of our responsibility right now since nobody else seems to be doing anything about it. NC State Police do provide resources and guidelines to keep students safe. Now, I did reach out to campus police but haven't heard back. NC State Police does have their own crime alert system that sends out text messages to students when things like this happen. Some of the students I spoke to say they're grateful for those alerts. Live in Raleigh, Kelly Kennedy, CBS North Carolina. Kelly, thank you. Now, you heard her mention some of the resources that authorities have on their Facebook page. Campus police advise students to stick to well-lit areas, walk in groups, and use the safety escort services and public transportation when available instead of walking. If students ever feel unsafe, they should contact police immediately.